Hello everybody, how are you? Beautiful and chilly morning here in the Los Angeles area. I'm out in the San Gabriel Valley continuing our series on communities out here. And this video is going to be about Baldwin Park. Now Baldwin Park is a major player uh, among the larger towns and communities out here in the San Gabriel Valley with a uh, long history. Now there's just over about 75,000 people that live in this area. Actually that's from uh, the 2000 census so it's probably more of course. And you say well uh, how do you know it's more? Because some studies show that people are leaving California. Trust me people are also moving to California because uh, the Los Angeles area offers what you cannot find in most places in the world, and that is um, reckless hope. <laughs> uh, so, the um, used to be part of, of course, the San Gabriel Valley uh, Mission and Rancho system, you could say. So, for example, it used to be part of a couple of different ranchos and they they work in concert with the San Gabriel Mission which basically basically in those days there's just ranches in the mission and there's cattle there's you know cows walking around it was cattle grazing land <laughs> and uh, that continues today with the major thoroughfares through Baldwin Park of fast food outlets. People are still grazing, uh, much like in the old days. So the motto for uh, Baldwin Park, if you know it, I couldn't find it, uh, but they did have a newspaper uh, contest in uh, Baldwin Park. The Baldwin Park Recorder had a newspaper contest on, on coming up with a new model for the city so I don't know whatever happened to it but the winner of that contest was Baldwin Park <laughs> Gateway to El Monte and I don't know whatever happened to that but here's one of the most important things you need to know about Baldwin Park especially if you're from Southern California and if you're not I'll explain it and also the tragic history of this, about what I'm about to tell you. Baldwin Park was the site, folks, of the very first In-N-Out restaurant in history. The very first In-N-Out restaurant in the history of the beloved In-N-Out hamburger chain was right in Baldwin Park in 19. 48 on October 22nd it opened and believe it or not they also had the first drive through of a hamburger place or a fast food place in California now I'll have to do some investigation on this I'm not sure what happened but uh, certainly it would be a tragedy in many people's eyes this wasn't that long ago so I don't know what happened uh, that, that first restaurant the original in and out was was uh, <sighs> removed and a new building put in its place in 2004. Now, come on. Now, look, this is a, if, if you're not from, uh, well, for, let me back up, Buen Square. Uh, for those of you not from Southern California, in and out is probably the number one hamburger chain amongst Southern Californians. Although there are people that like other other ones, uh, in and out ha is local and has a, uh, you know, a, a lot of communities have that local uh, hamburger joint or chicken joint that grows and becomes, you know, ingrained in the growth of the community. And so they become uh, loved and beloved. And that's in and out. Uh, you could say Whataburger in Texas, for example, and in your town, there's probably, you know, some, some place that everybody loves and it's been there since the uh, 40s. <laughs> or whatever I've uh, been there a long time so the fact that the 
the drive the original store the original restaurant was replaced was taken out and uh, a new building put in there uh is really kind of a tragedy so i'm gonna have to do some more uh investigation on that i don't know if they're talking about just a new building for the restaurant here let me look it up real quick let's look it up in and out original building original restaurant how about the store say mm -mm, mm -mm. So, history in and out burger in 1948 uh, this is from in and outs website Harriet and Esther Snyder started in and out fresh fries and they've not changed the in and out menu very much at all same basic menu uh, blah 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 well that didn't tell us anything <laughs> uh, let's see. It was open. All right, hold on, hold on. Open service district. Chosen not to franchise its operations. Yeah, that's the thing. None of the in and out stores are franchises, which is kind of interesting. The other thing I found out: Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. If you want to be a franchisee, they will let you assuming you meet all the criteria, but they will only let you have one store. Every franchisee only has one store. All right, in and outs first location was uh, in Baldwin Park, southwest corner of what is now the intersection of Interstate 10 and Francisquito Avenue. Oh, that could have been why. Well, they said there's a new building there. The second in and out was the corner of Azusa Canyon Road and San Bernardino Road. Then they went to Pasadena, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I don't, so I don't know the story. It just says new building. So I don't know if that means a new building for the restaurant or just a whole completely different building. So I'll do some more investigation on that, guys. Uh, so, it, so Baldwin Park, of course, such an important part of this area, at, not, not just because of in and out but because the guy that the town is named after was such a mover and shaker in town, Lucky Baldwin. Now, Lucky Baldwin was named that because the guy was super successful in business. <laughs> I mean, you know, he started a lot of projects. Now, the town maybe took a little downturn as, as the uh, 20th century rolled on, but the city is in a mode of revitalizing its economic base. They've got all of these projects going on. They call them uh, project redevelopment areas. All right. Uh, and they've also encouraged the growth of uh, the establishment and expansion of major retailers and supporting them in their efforts. So, for example... Harley Davidson has a uh, project going on in Baldwin Park. It's uh, they're trying to implement the sidecar project, and that's a method of, or a uh, goal of, reinvigorating people using sidecars on their Harley Davidson Harley Davidson motorcycles, primarily to drive elderly in the sidecar to their treatments. Uh, Starbucks. It has a project going on and it, they have a 27 lane Starbucks drive through uh, test project going on in Baldwin Park. It's very near to the original in and out And they, the plans call for if it's successful on the 27 lane drive through they're gonna double that because they have the lot next door and they're gonna make it into a 54 lane Starbucks drive through uh, and it's in a testing phase. Home Depot has a project that they're testing in Baldwin Park of, as part of uh, the city's efforts to encourage retailers and businesses to come there to try new ideas, build new businesses, expand their operations, expand their product lines. So Home Depot has a project where all city buildings, city hall, all the furniture will be built out of PVC pipe. 
So they have, um, so far, half of the city hall, if you go into any of the offices, the desks and chairs are all made from PVC pipe, which is a really interesting uh, project. It'll be interesting. It'll be kind of exciting to see how that turns out. So there you go. That's Baldwin Park. Just a quick snapshot of its a sketch of its history, the importance of in and out. I'll find out more about uh, what exactly happened to that original building. You know, what's there now? It says it was replaced with a new building, but I don't know that means what that means so i'll find that out all right guys come on back we've got so many more videos on baldwin park coming as well as other communities in the la area